Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So this was not a video I thought I was going to be making. But, or just a second here before we get into the video, um, a little bit of disclaimer here. First of all, I have no affiliation with Yeti. Um, I have taken this upon myself and uh, at my own risk. And um, I am not a computer technician in any fashion. I went ahead to do this to try to be a less costly uh, way to repair a screen rather than doing a whole console repair. So um, I will go ahead and put some affiliate links down below um, with the screen that I've got um, down there. And then I've got also merchandise links down there if you're interested in that stuff. And uh, but yeah. So anyway, let's jump into the video and then we will uh, hopefully this is going to work out. All right, so the console here, you can see this nice little breakage, and this is a touch screen, so this is how I control the Yeti. Um, generally, so this is removable. You can come up and you can work on it like that, which is which is great. Uh, there's times I want to do that. And they have a little safety tether that if for some reason you lose it. It doesn't hit the floor. Unless you don't do that. And that's what I did. I was in the middle of setting it up. I inadvertently bumped this. It came off, fell down. Um, and with it's like your cell phone. Once the screen is cracked, um, it might work. It might not. This one, it was a dead screen. So in order to replace this, um, you can, I can order a new console. Um, I was able to get a loaner one for a, sh a brief period of time um, so I can continue working on the project. But I wanted to look into um, if I could just replace this screen. Is this a proprietary screen? And what I did find out is um, it is run by uh, run Raspberry Pi is what the operating system of this machine. And uh, so let's see if we can get that changed out and get this repaired and uh, do this uh, as a cheaper way to fix it. All right, so we pull the console up off the machine. So the first thing we've got to do is I've got four little screw, uh, screws here. Oops, bing, bing. Um, and these are our metric, um, Allen wrenches because I've got to pull these four screws here. And then there's two more underneath here. Those are a, uh, just a screwdriver. And actually, those should have been pulled first. And I've got this screw, some longer screws. And this is a strain relief that holds uh, the cord that plugs into the uh, upper beam. So that's the strain relief for that. So next thing I got to do is you've got like a little network cable down in here. And I just got a little screwdriver. How are we going to be able to see this? Just to press that. And that's just like a no normal network cable that's in there. So we've got that off of there, and then this piece, a uh, little housing, can come out. The next thing I need to do is I need to pull these four um, screws, and these, again, are a metric um, Allen wrench. long screws. I've got this little magnetic uh, tray, which is actually really cool. It just um, it keeps things from you know, falling off if you accidentally dump it, which I've done before. So that'll pull 
that plate off. Set that off to the side. That also relieves the housing. And that leaves us with the screen. And this is made up into three modules. So we've got the screen. Let me zoom you in here. So we've got three different modules here. One, Yeti has their own uh, little board that they made that clips onto the Raspberry Pi, which is this center one. And then this, I believe, is just part of the uh, display, that, that circuit board there. So we've got four screws here, which are Phillips screws. And that just comes up off of that 40 pin connector that clips on here. I'm just going to set that over to the side. So we only have two wires here. And generally what I'll do at this point on something like this is I would take a photo um, so I know exactly, like, it's, it's basically power for that screen. So I got a positive and negative power and where it goes onto that board. We'll be able to see that board once we pull this off of here. So next thing is I've got a four millimeter, I believe it's four millimeter, yep, uh, little bolt. And then we have to loosen these up. All right, so there is, we're down there and we've also got a, that must be there. They got 32 gig. I didn't see that, but they've got 32 gig card that goes in there. So this is actually the Raspberry Pi. So this is basically the computer. It's a um, single board computer. I don't know a lot about them, but it's a single board computer. So at this point, I think what I'll do is I'll open up the the Raspberry Pi and see how this all matches up. comes with a ribbon and some things so there old screen new screen so now what we need to do is I need to, it's got four little screws in here those will be extra that we won't need All right, to release this, I've got a little piece right here. There's a little lock. That gets pulled out. And that can come off of there. You also could take it off on this side. I guess it's a choice which way you want to go. Um, and then that comes back in here. Push the little black nodule and it locks back in. Next thing we need to do is transfer our power. So we've got um, here, you can't see it, but it says ground and 5 volt. So our red is our 5 volt, black is our ground. No longer need the old one. And then we just start doing reassembly. That comes back on there. All right. So we got those four riser bolts on there. Then we just have to pull this back in and realign that 40 pin connector. out of the way so they're not 
interfering with anything. And then we've got the four little screws on the top here. If I don't bump the camera with my big head. All right, so that's back together. Now we just start reassembling the case. So one of the things I found out is I have to kind of hold the screen up in order to get those started. There's only about like a thread and a half is all that holds them together. So there's not a lot of not a lot of threads in there. Let's put the little enclosure back in there. Put the bolts in for that, which are these. Get the right size or right size stuff. Oh, stuck to the bottom of the thing with the magnet. Next thing we got to do is get the cord back in. Not a lot of room to get in there, so I think the screwdriver is probably there. And it snaps right in, and you can kind of see where it holds once I put this piece in, it will hold that cable down there. All right, peel the front off. Let's see if it works. <laughs> Looking good so far. Just take a few it just takes us a few seconds for it to kind of get booted up here and ready to go. Well, it looks like we're back in business. All right, that was a little terrifying actually to me to, um, I don't do a lot of kind of stuff like that. So um, it was a relatively simple process. I will put affiliate link. Um, I did actually pick this up on Amazon. I was able to research what uh, screen this was, but it's a stock Raspberry Pi uh, seven inch touch screen. Um, so there are affiliate links there. There's other places you can buy it. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy. Um, Yeti does sell a replacement console, but I don't need the whole console. I don't need the operating system. I don't need any of that other stuff. I just need the screen. Um, so this is about 20% uh, of the cost of getting that. And probably because I'm located in the United States um, and I can get it through Amazon in a couple of days, a lot quicker than having something sent from overseas. So uh, without paying some exorbitant fees for shipping, which they are what they are. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Um, hopefully we'll see you on the next one and uh, we'll actually maybe make something in the shop rather than trying to do repairs. So have a good one till then.